Hello, Nadine here, and today I'm going to be creating a card using some Rhenia foil. This is actually their newest variety pack color. It's their floral variety packs, and this is the colors that come in it. It is fuchsia, I mean violet, fuchsia, and marigold in glossy and also in the starstruck. It comes with 12 sheets of paper total, and each one is 6 by 12. So these are the different colors. You can see how gorgeous they are. The glossy do come gold on the back side, and the starstruck ones are the same color on both sides. So to get started, I'm going to be using some Heartfelt Creation stamps and dies, and I'm also going to be using the Rhenia Ghost Ink. The Ghost Ink removes the color from the foiled paper and leaves a silver of the foiled paper underneath it. So I'll show you how that works. So I'm going to use my Misty since I am stamping on a, a glossy surface. I don't want I don't want it to slide when it hits the foil. When I'm just pressing it down sometimes they will slide on a slick surface. That was the word I was looking for was slick. Couldn't think of what I was talking about for a second. So I'm just going to place this in here, and I also, as you saw, took out the, the foam padding that is in my Misty, so that way, because I'm using this stamp, which is already a foam stamp, so I didn't want to, I didn't need that foam underneath there. So now I'm just going to ink up my stamp with the Ghost Ink. So I'm going to allow that to dry just a little. Okay, I am using a baby wipe, but you can also just use a paper towel that's wet. And there you go. You can see how the ghost ink removes the color from the foil. This is easy as that. And I'm going to repeat that on all the colors. And then after I get them all stamped out, I'm going to use the die cut and die cut them each out as well. Okay, since I used my Misty and I stamped them all in the exact same place, I was also able to die cut them all out, or not all of them, but at least three of them at a time. Just ran, ran it through my Gemini. So you can see that three flowers and these are the starstruck ones okay so now I'm going to take my spellbinders a tool in one and I'm going to remove the, the pointy thing on the end and replace it with my stylist like that and then taking each flower I'm going to alternate them same color but alternate between the starstruck and the glossy just kind of going into the center. Actually go to the back side first. I'm just going to roll the, the tip of each flower. Like that. And then going into the center. Just doing the same with the glossy. Just going to take a little bit of three in one. Get it right in the middle. Oops. Well, that was way more of a mess than I wanted it to be. There we go. So now since I did the glossy, I'm going to go the next size smaller with the Starstruck. So I'm just going to continue that with each one, and then I will also do that to each color of each flower. Okay, 
And before I get to assembling the card, I am actually going to stamp a sentiment here. I'm going to use the stamp set from Poppy Stamps. It's called Love and Friendship. I'm going to use the greatest gift of life is friendship. Right there, and I'm going to use Versafine Claire in Nocturne. I'm going to put some clear embossing powder on that. I'm just going to throw this onto a black piece of cardstock. Okay, now just kind of get an idea of where I'm going to lay my flowers at. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of little pearls to the center of each one of the flowers. And there we go. At the end, I took some fireworks in some tuxedo black with a little tiny paintbrush and just kind of flicked it around just lightly around the flowers. You can see. And then my card is completed. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so and hit the like button as well. See you next time. Bye bye.